And while we are moving over this vehicle, you are more welcome to move around here. There are plenty of seats over here actually, where you can very well see as well. And you won't be standing in the sun. There's lots of space over here. Yeah. All right, here we got the Archimodo with Mark and Kate. And Mark is actually the uh, president and founder of Akimoto, and we got the SRK today. So what's the SRK, and tell us a little bit about the specification. So the, the SRK is an ultra-efficient vehicle that's designed for everyday driving. It's designed around the common vehicle usage pattern, you know, like, uh, like those, uh, the guys in Switch were talking about, you have one or two people going relatively short distance, relatively small amount of stuff. We figured, how can we more efficiently package that usage pattern uh, for for that common vehicle usage scenario? So, what we what we've developed over the course of about four years is a, a new generation, a new vehicle platform, uh, three wheels with front wheel drive, seats two passengers in tandem comfortably, you can seat two guys my size, uh, no problem. And this is what, what we have here is our sixth generation prototype. So. It's, this is the uh, kind of the raw machine. Uh, it's, it doesn't have the body on it yet. That's that's really the next step, and then we'll enter into our first limited run pilot production of this particular model. So you mentioned this is the sixth generation already. Tell us a little bit more about the first five generations and what you learned and how you maybe evolved the design, what you changed, what you figured out does not work, what works great. Right. So it's been a very iterative process. The, the first prototype we built was kind of a, our, our first dart against the wall. Uh, it was a, a totally open three-wheel vehicle, rear-wheel drive, sat one passenger or one driver with uh, kind of a reconfigurable rear end. Um, it was a, a little bit smaller form than this, and the, the first step was really to get to the point where it was stable at speed. So in terms of the basic daily driving requirements, uh, you got to be able to get up on the freeway. Once, uh, once we took prototype number one up over about 30, you have a very strong sense that, uh, that you're, it was going to end your life. And so <laughs> the next step, generation two, was really all about establishing a stable, safe footprint at speed. Um, still an order of magnitude more environmentally efficient than a full-size car, but very capable, uh, playing room for stuff. Generation three was much more of a concept vehicle. So it was the first one we did that had uh, a full, uh, a full sort of automotive style of body. Uh, and it was really a marketing exercise. It was to ask the question, is there marketplace support for a novel form of vehicle? And if you take away all of the other sort of differences that we're going for in terms of the industrial design. Uh, and then generation four was, was where we really established the platform. So, what we'd done rear wheel drive for our first three generations, and when we showed it in Seattle, uh, customers there were saying, you know, on a cold, rainy night in Seattle, going up a hill, I'm gonna have real traction problems. So with Gen 4, we made the switch to front wheel drive, and that really formed the foundation of our intellectual property. Uh, how to package two passengers uh, comfortably in tandem, very low center of gravity, really, really nice ride experience. Gen 5 was all about then turning that kind of platform idea into a product concept. Uh, and that was the first, that was where we launched the SRK about a year ago. And everything we've done since then has just been to refine every aspect of the vehicle to the point where we can actually uh, produce more than one. Great, so those history of basically six prototypes, that's three years, four years? Uh, just more, a little bit more than four years. Okay, great. So you, you mentioned it already, your customers, what they want to do, what they're interested in. So tell us a little bit more about your, your customers. You mentioned highway, we see an open frame, we talk about Seattle, it's not always the weather like this. So who's your customer and what are you going to do in order to take care of them? I drove in it earlier, it's a great open experience, but what in different weather and climate? So, so the vehicle is semi-enclosed on the base model. This actually doesn't even have the fairing on it, uh, but there'll be a full enclosure option. So if it's a nice day like today, or like it is every single day that we come down to the Bay Area, uh, then you'll probably ride it wide open all the time. If you live in Oregon, if you live in Washington, where it rains a lot, you'll put the side panels on eight months out of the year. Uh, but in terms of the target market, so the vehicle has been designed around the common driving usage pattern. Affordable, pure electric, plugs into the wall, very capable for daily driving tasks, looks cool, 
so we see a broad market appeal over time, but initially we're targeting a more of an enthusiast than you know, power sports styling. Uh, what that does for us is one, it gives us a, a much lower cost uh, to get into production. So we have a, and we have a, a tightly focused new niche that they're going to product. So over time, we can leverage the strengths of the platform into a much more mass market vehicle. And then as we look, you know, three, five years down the road, we want to be in worldwide franchise vehicle production and ultimately integrate autonomous vehicle technology to radically disrupt transportation as we know it. Well, you're still in the right place for autonomous vehicle technology. <laughs> 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 One question that I had to ask when we talked first about uh, your project and everything, so how do you pronounce your company and what does the company name mean, Arkimoto? So the, the I is pronounced as kind of a, uh, so it's Arkimoto, um, and it means arc is electricity or future archetype, I thrive, it's future I thrive, it's the brand for the next generation of drivers. Sounds like a great future to me. Thanks a lot, Mark and Kate from Arkimoto.